Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at simplifying a rational expression and identifying the restrictions on its domain. The rational expression is y squared minus 36 over y squared plus 4y minus 12. We're asked to simplify this expression. This is very much like reducing a regular numerical fraction. For example, if we were asked to simplify 6 tenths, we would look for factors that 6 and 10 have in common. 2 is a common factor because 6 can be written as 3 times 2 and 10 can be written as 5 times 2. So we could divide 2 by itself to get a factor of 1 and in other words that would leave us with just 3 fifths. We usually think of this as just dividing the numerator and denominator by 2 but in reality what we're doing is dividing out a common factor. So in order to apply the same idea to a rational expression with variables, we have to have it written in factored form. y squared minus 36 fits the pattern of a difference of squares, so it factors into conjugates, y minus 6 times y plus 6. y squared plus 4y minus 12 is a trinomial. The leading coefficient is 1, so all we need to do is look at the negative 12. We're looking for factors of negative 12 that add up to 4. Positive 6 times negative 2 gives us negative 12, and positive 6 plus negative 2 adds up to positive 4. This tells us that if we multiplied y plus 6 times y minus 2 by foiling this out, we would get y squared plus 4y minus 12. This is the factored form of the rational expression, and we can see that we do have a common factor. In the numerator and denominator, we have y plus 6. Dividing those out leaves us with a factor of 1, and so this expression reduces to y minus 6 over y minus 2. In the second part, they ask whether or not we have restricted values. To have restricted values means that it's possible that the denominator is equal to 0. For example, in this case, in order for y minus 2 to be 0, we would have y equal to 2. If you were to plug in 2, in other words, we would get a 0 in the denominator, causing the expression to be undefined. So the answer to part two is that yes, there are restricted values. But it's not as obvious as just looking at y minus two. In fact, I kind of exaggerated when I said these two expressions were equal. Because when I canceled out y plus six, I canceled out the possibility of having a zero for this expression. So you always have to go back and look at the uncanceled version, if you would, if you want to put it that way, of the rational expression. For part three, where it asks you to find the restrictions on the variable, don't look at this last reduced form of the rational expression, but set the denominator of the factored form equal to zero and solve for the variable. This guarantees that we get all the restrictions. So y plus 6 times y minus 2 equals 0 can only happen if either y plus 6 is 0 or y minus 2 is 0. Well, y plus 6 equals 0 would mean that y is negative 6, and y minus 2 equals 0 would mean that y is equal to positive 2. So the restrictions on the variable are negative 6 and positive 2. As a side note, a common question that I get from students is when they see the expression y minus 6, y plus 6, over y plus 6 times y minus 2, they want to set each factor equal to 0. So they often ask me, why is it not the case that if y is equal to 6, why is it not the case that y equals 6 is a restricted value? And that's a very good question. The reason is because y equals 6 makes the numerator equal 0. In fact, it does not give you an undefined expression. If you plug 6 in, you get 6 minus 6 times 6 plus 6 over 6 plus 6 times 6 minus 2. This gives us 0 times 12 over 12 times 4, which gives us 0 over 48. 0 divided by a number is 0. That's allowed. It's not undefined. Whereas a number divided by 0 is undefined. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to like it.